Hey guys, CC back with another video, and today's video, this could quite possibly be the last makeup haul of 2020. watching me or my channel just make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Camellia Yvette and also subscribed to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six so I'm so excited to do this video okay people people i think this is the last haul of 2020 like 2020 as crazy as it was it definitely zoomed by you know what i'm saying and like seriously 2021 is gonna be like low 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 to no buy i feel like i say that every year but i'm serious this time y'all because i just i don't even have a like i don't even want anything else you know what i'm saying and i just we got enough stuff and we got to get through this stuff. We got to talk about this stuff. We got to do some Instagram videos with it, some YouTube videos, all that stuff, because I, I don't know. I just feel like I don't want anything else new. And I know I'm going to buy stuff here and there, but y'all going to be surprised. Y'all going to see because I'm turning over a new leaf because I'm done with y'all. Okay, I'm done. All right. But anyway, I ended up ordering some stuff from ColourPop. I got one thing from amazon oh i got some stuff from ulta and i also got some stuff from perfusion um cosmetics which is a nice drugstore brand because we're gonna do some drugstore vids coming up soon so i don't know let's just jump into it i ain't got nothing to say let's jump into it so before i go into all the stuff i just mentioned i want to show you guys these makeup brushes i got sent some pr from a varenti beauty and they specialize in makeup brushes so they sent me over a full brush set and i haven't even opened like all the brushes yet but i opened up these two and they are so so soft you guys so soft so i'm gonna i'm about to google them right now and i'll tell you guys a little bit about them okay so this is a brand out of queens new york and they sell makeup brushes as well as they have a mascara as well hmm they pride themselves on being innovative with their products and it looks like the owner says that she always searched for the best tools to apply her makeup and she realized that the right tools were important for a person to achieve optimal results. So that's what made her start the brand. So pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll use these in an upcoming video. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and open all of these and then um, I'll use them and I'll update you guys on these because they just seem like they're really, really good quality. And I mean, this brush is so, so soft. The brushes don't have a name, but they're really soft. So we're gonna have to try those in an upcoming video. Okay, so let's move on. I did pick up one thing from HSN, and it is the new Tarte High Performance Naturals Shape Tape Glow Powder. So sometimes I'll like go on HSN, or was it QVC? It was one or the other. Sometimes I'll go on like HSN or QVC just to see what they have because they have, sometimes they have like exclusive sets that Sephora and Ulta don't have. So I went on and looked and I just happened to see this Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder. And so it comes with this gorgeous brush. I love Tarte brushes. They're really, really good. And then it comes with the powder, which how do you open this? Here we go. So it just looks like that. Hmm. So it seems like you can use it as a finishing powder to give your foundation a little bit of glow. Um, it's not glittery either. It's more like a very, very light sheen. So this one is, I don't know if there's one shade or if there's more, but this one's actually in the shade Moonlit. So we're going to have to try that one out as well. And I love, like I said, I love Tarte's brushes. They're just so soft and such good quality. And this was actually a little set. Plus it came with like a mini shape tape concealer and I can't, oh, here it is. I was going to say, I can't find it, but here it is right here. So this was the set and I think it was only like 30 bucks. Okay, next I got one random thing from Amazon. This is the new L'Oreal Infallible 
um, fresh wear, 24 hour fresh wear foundation powder. So I have the actual liquid foundation, the 24 hour fresh wear, and I love it. So I just thought I would try pairing it with the powder. I love the L'Oreal Infallible line. They have the matte, they have the fresh wear, they have, which is more of the natural, then they have the glow products. So I think their line is incredible and I love that they're developing it and coming out with more products. So I'm definitely going to try that. Then I placed an order on ColourPop and I've been waiting on this forever. I realized why I never place orders on ColourPop anymore. Well, one, I don't really need anything, but two, it takes them forever. Like the shipping is so long. I placed this order almost two weeks ago and I just got it, which I don't know. It doesn't sound like a lot when I say it out loud, but just considering how quickly other products come to me, I just feel like two weeks is just way too long to wait. So I ended up picking up the Raw Beauty Christy and ColourPop palette. This is what I was totally waiting on. I didn't get the whole kit, but I got the palette. If you don't know, Raw, Be Raw Beauty Christy is a YouTuber and she has some of the most amazing videos. Like her makeup skills are impeccable and this is the palette she came out that she curated with ColourPop. I love, love, love the palettes that ColourPop curates with YouTubers. I feel like they do such a great job on those and this is just like a nice green and gold palette. Perfect for the fall and winter time so I can't wait to try this one on for size. This little dark green like teal bluish green shade is calling my name so we're gonna definitely do a look with that soon and I love ColourPop's pressed shadows they're just such amazing quality and so I mean you can't beat it for the price you really can't so while I was on the website I was like I might as well pick up some other stuff you know what I'm saying so I picked up the ColourPop no filter primer it's supposed to be oil free and safe for all skin types so I just thought I would give that a try. I had never heard of this primer, so I figured I'd try that out. I picked up the Pretty Fresh Blending Sponge. Not that I needed another one, but I'm always down to try another sponge. So there we have it. And then I picked up two of the gel liners. I don't even remember buying these. I must have blacked out on the website because child, I seriously do not remember buying these gel liners, but let's see. Let's see what I got. Also, this one is brown and this one's in the shade Juniper. Looks like just a basic brown liner. Yeah. Oh, it's soft though. Nice and creamy. I like that. Okay. So there's that one. And then I have this one is in the shade Red Rock and it looks like a reddish brown and it is like a brick red almost. Okay, I'm gonna have to use those. Again, I don't even remember picking these up. I don't know why I picked them up, but you know, we're gonna use them. So I also picked up a few things from Ulta and I got actually for free for ordering something, I don't know. They gave me a Kylie lip kit in the shade Bear. I haven't used one of Kylie's lip products in a while, but it, this is just a nice like pale pink shade. This is one of those shades you can only use with a brown lip liner for us uh, melanin girls. So that's what that looks like. And then they gave me the corresponding lip liner. So I got one of Kylie's lip kits. And then I ordered another um, Urban Decay brow blade. This is their new brow product that came out, what, a few months ago? I have been in love with this Urban Decay brow product ever since it came out, so I've been using it a lot. One side is actually a, like an ink, like a felt tip brow ink, I guess you can say. And then the other side is just your basic brow pencil and I use both sides. I love them so, so much. So I picked up a backup because I just ran out of one of them. And then I ended up picking up three of the MAC. These are the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Colors. These came out a few months ago also, I think in the summertime, and I wanted to get them and I just never did. So I ended up picking up three of them and I want to say I got them on sale, if I can remember correctly. But I got three shades, and they look like this right here. So this one is in Make Love to the Camera. Let's swatch them. We got time, right? Y'all got time? Y'all got time. Let's swatch them. Make Love to the Camera. Looks like this. 
This is gonna be so hard to come off of my hand, I bet y'all. I'm doing this for y'all though. This one is called Burning Love, and it looks like a deep berry. Oh, those are very similar. <laughs> Way too similar for my liking, but okay. So this one's more like a brick red, and then this one's like a berry color. I can see it in the camera, the differences, but not enough that I should have gotten both but whatever this one is in over the taupe so I'm guessing it's a taupey shade oh that's gorgeous that's gonna be a favorite of mine right there right there look at that so pretty I can definitely tell that these are probably going to be kind of drying so I'm getting myself prepared for that these are going to be one of those lip colors that you have to really make sure your lips are prepped for a matte lip lip shade on your lips because um I can feel that and they're called powder kiss so that's kind of a little giveaway as well but yeah so last but not least I got some stuff from Profusion. And if you don't know, Profusion is a drugstore. I don't wanna say drugstore, but it's an affordable brand. Let me get this stuff out the box first. Okay, so it's an affordable brand. And you can't really find it at every drugstore. I see Profusion a lot at Five Below. And then I also will order it online. So I ended up ordering from their website. You know what, I think they sell Profusion at Target too. But I ordered from their website. First of all, they have amazing brushes, if you don't know. They're super affordable, very, very good quality brushes. So I did pick up two of them, and this one is the Flat Setting Powder Brush. So if you can see that, it's just like a flat, let's open it, why am I doing this? There we go, Flat Setting Brush. Ooh, I like that. And it fits right up under here so well. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna love that. So that's the PD5. Then I grabbed this one, and this is the Buffing Foundation Brush, the FD1. And ooh, nice and dense. It's kind of pinched though, so it's not like super round. So I'm wondering how long this will take you to put on a full face of foundation and to buff it out. That does concern me a bit, but we're gonna have to give it a try and just see. This could be the perfect foundation brush, who knows? And it was like five bucks. So these um, brushes are super affordable. So Perfusion also recently came out with a liquid foundation. I don't think they had a liquid foundation before, but this is the Feel Good Skin Long Wear Skin Perfector. I got the shade Tan Warm Yellow. It looks a little light skin, y'all. Just the look of it looks a little light skin from the packaging. Let's see. It's yellow. It's definitely yellow, but I could probably make this work with the right bronzer. It actually blended in really well though. And it's drying nicely. Ooh, that's not my hand, no. It does have a perfumey, yeah, that's the foundation. It has like a perfumey scent to it. I don't love that, but we'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl there. So that looks like that, and that was like eight bucks, so. Again, very affordable. I feel like you can't really talk about Perfusion without praising one of their amazing eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the Emerald 10 Shade Eyeshadow Palette. And I don't have anything like this in my collection that is like geared toward these gorgeous greens like this. So I figured this will be a great palette to get. Greens, golds, you have your one cool tone shade right here. Like this is just beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And again, their shadow quality is so, so, so good like I can't say that enough so um yeah I can't say it enough I also picked up the eye sparkler sparkling eye topper and waterproof shadow stick so this is like those Stila you know those Stila um liquid eyeshadows well every brand pretty much has them now but I feel like Stila had these first so it has one of those in there and then you have a waterproof eyeshadow stick in there as well I'm not gonna open that yet then I got this little lipstick duo. This is the Lips To Go Matte Lip Cream, Matte Lip Liner, and Sparkling Lip Topper. So you get all three of those in this kit. And does this have a shade? It does not have a shade on it, but yeah, you get, oh yes it does. It's in the shade Secret. Looks nice and neutral. 
least, I did pick up this kit right here. This is the Always Matte Nude Lip Color Set. It's a six piece vibrant liquid lipstick set. And so you get six gorgeous liquid lipstick shades. And again, this was super inexpensive. So really great gift idea. But that is it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up in this haul. Again, I think this is going to be the last haul of 2020. I ain't got nothing on the way, nothing coming, nothing like that. So we done for the year. <laughs> I appreciate all of your love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all of my hauls in 2020. And you know it's going to be a few in 2021. So just make sure you stay tuned for that. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, you guys.